The sun gives us a mixed bag of space weather with pockets of fast wind and some stealthy solar storms. Those stories and more in the news this week. This forecast, sponsored in part by Eric Johansson. Check him out at Instagram.com slash Scoobist. Space weather this week is definitely a bit of a mixed bag. We've been bumped to unsettled and active conditions kind of up and down throughout the week. As we switch to our front side sun, you can see why. We have a coronal hole that's down in the southern polar region. That has been giving us some sporadic fast solar wind. And along with a couple like mini solar storms that have been firing and have been near misses to Earth, it's definitely been bumping us up to active conditions and keeping things really unsettled. As a matter of fact, on the 16th, we got yet another solar storm that was launched. This is a stealthy solar storm kind of in the northern hemisphere. It launched a, a solar storm that's earthward directed and so that could give us yet some more activity around the 19th and 20th that could bump us back up to unsettled conditions. So expect this to continue. We also have as of next week we're going to have another small coronal hole rotating into earth or into earth strike zone and that could give us yet some more unsettled conditions from some more fast solar wind. As we switch to our backside sun you can see that first coronal hole, there's actually two of them, that first one is the one that's rotating into Earth view now, and that's the one that could bug us next week. But if you look behind it in stereo's view, this is stereo looking at the sun from the side. You can definitely see that larger coronal hole. Now that coronal hole, that's the one that gave us a G2 level storm about two weeks ago, and it looks like it has survived its backside passage, and it will be rotating into the Earth strike zone in about two weeks, and it could give us yet another G2 level level solar storm. Switching to our moon, we are now passing through the third quarter phase on our way to a new moon, and by the 25th the moon will only be about 20% illuminated, so you night sky watchers, now's a good chance to start looking for those dim objects in the sky. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we're going to continue to expect a bit of a mixed bag this week. We could be bumped up to unsettled and even active conditions, partly from the pockets of fast solar wind that the sun keeps sending us, along with the many stealthy solar storms that the sun keeps launching. There's that one that was launched on the 16th that is Earth directed. So right around the 20th and the 21st, at high latitudes, we could be seeing up to uh, uh, active conditions, most likely unsettled settled but up to active conditions with about a 20 to 25 percent chance of a minor storm. Now at mid latitudes we're expecting normal conditions to unsettled conditions but we could see up to about a 15 to 20 percent chance of active conditions over a short period while this storm hits us and kind of blows over. It's kind of hard to tell so you aurora photographers only if you're really dedicated should you worry about chasing this particular storm because aurora shows could be very very fleeting. But this does mean we will most likely continue to see unsettled and kind of this mixed bag of conditions easily over the rest of this week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is still in the green when it comes to solar flares. We have a spotless sun both on the front side and on the back side of the sun right now, so we have no risk for radio blackouts or anything like that. So you GPS users, you should be very happy. You should be getting great reception on Earth's day side. Now, of course, amateur radio operators and emergency responders, this also means that the solar flux continues to be in the mid to high 60s, which means radio propagation on Earth's day side is poor. The only thing that you have going for you is that we've got these solar storms and this kind of unsettled conditions, which means propagation gets a little bit of a boost from kind of this unsettled uh, solar wind that we've got right now. So enjoy that. If you're getting a little bit of sporadic propagation, it's more likely due to that than anything else. And also you GPS users, well, you know, because of this unsettled conditions, it should make a low latitude GPS reception pretty good, but you could have some glitches near the Dawn Dust Terminators. And because we're also at solar minimum, we have the cosmic ray flux being a bit higher than it normally would be, so you frequent flyers, and this does include the air crew who fly over 800 hours annually and fly at high altitudes and high latitudes. You guys are in the moderate range for radiation dose, and this does include prenatal passengers, so please take this into consideration in your flight plans. 
So the space weather this week is definitely a bit of a mixed bag, and it's going to continue to stay that way. We've been bumping between unsettled conditions to even active conditions due to some pockets of fast solar wind and even some mini stealthy solar storms that have been hitting us here and there. And these conditions will continue. So your aurora photographers, you might, especially at high latitudes, you might get your cameras ready around the 20th and the 21st because you could be in for a little bit of an aurora show when yet another stealthy solar storm hits. Earth. Now, amateur radio operators and emergency responders, well, we do have a spotless sun right now, and even the backside of the sun is spotless. So that means we've got solar flux kind of sitting in the mid to high 60s, which is poor radio propagation. The one nice thing, however, is that with all this unsettled conditions uh, with the solar wind, that does help boost propagation. So you might get some fun on six meters in the magic band, or even with gray line propagation, you might get a few surprises here and there. So kind of stick with it. Now, as far as your GPS users are concerned, well, your day side reception should look pretty good. There shouldn't be any issues there. You should even get some decent low latitude reception uh, over the course of this next week or so. But you will need to stay away from the dawn dust terminators for the reception during and, and especially during the stealthy solar storm around the 20th and 21st, because then you could actually get a little bit of glitches in your reception. Outside of that, things should look pretty good. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.